Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be looking at a slim portable monitor by Leepal. You can pick this monitor up on Amazon on November 30 with a 35% discount. The link will be below in the description so make sure to check that out. So inside the box you get a couple of things. First off we are greeted with the screen protector and you also get a USB-C to USB-A cable to power on the monitor and the 18 watt wall socket that outputs 5 volts to 2 amps. Up next is the monitor and I'll leave it on the side for now and see what else is in there. There's also a mini HDMI to full HDMI cable and lastly there's a 6 foot USB-C to USB-C cable. Oh and you also get the user guide and you also get the screen protector accessories. So the monitor comes inside a folio cover that is made from durable PU leather. You can get two angles on the stand to view the monitor but you can also just slightly adjust it and get it to stay there. My favorite position is putting it on the first groove and then folding the bottom here and it stays folded with the magnets that are inside and this provides a secure support so it doesn't slide down. Now taking a closer look at the monitor it has dual stereo speakers built in and you can find one on each side and each is rated at 1 watt. So on the right side you will find a USB-C port for powering up the monitor and below that is the menu rocker. With that you can also adjust the brightness and the volume. Scrolling up on it will take you to the brightness and scrolling down will take you to the volume. Right below that is the power button which also functions as the back button when you're in the menu. Now moving on to the left side there's a mini HDMI input as well as a USB Type-C input for video and a 3.5mm headphone jack so you can plug in a pair of wired headphones or a speaker if you want better audio. This monitor has a 15.6 inch LED screen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080p and is using an IPS panel. It has a matte finish which shows fingerprint smudges very easily. Luckily they included a screen protector film and I didn't do a good job of getting all the bubbles out so I took it off. This monitor is big enough to get work done yet slim and light enough to carry around with you on your bag. It weighs in at 1.7 pounds. You can use this monitor with your phone to mirror your phone's screen if you want to watch videos in a bigger screen. So make sure you have a compatible phone that can output video through the USB-C port. The Pixel 4 doesn't output video through the USB-C port so I can't use my Pixel with it. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus does output video through the USB-C port and it can power up the monitor at the same time so you won't be needing to connect the power cable to the monitor. And this is a really nice feature. You will be limited to a max brightness of 80%, going anything above that will power off the monitor. If you want to go above 80% then you will have to connect the charging cable to the monitor. So the monitor is also great to use with Samsung DeX, but with this you will need to use the charging wall socket or connect it to a portable power bank because the monitor will be drawing more power than the phone can supply. If you want to use a wireless keyboard and mouse, make sure you pair them to your Samsung device first before you plug it into the monitor. That way you don't run into any issues trying to connect it later. The monitor is also great to use with your gaming console. It has a 60Hz refresh rate and I have it plugged into a PS4 and it looks good. The IPS panel produces good viewing angles and color accuracy and it gives you an overall good picture. The colors are quite vibrant but if it isn't vivid enough for you, you can turn on the HDR on the monitor and you will get some very saturated images. I am comfortable with how the monitor comes preset so I didn't adjust any of the colors on it, but you can in the settings if you want to. It also has 300 nits of brightness so it's good for indoor use and it has 16.7 million colors with a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. I haven't used my PS4 in quite some time so I loaded up Uncharted The Lost Legacy and played on this monitor for a few hours and it looked good. It's nice to be able to power up the monitor on a power bank, you will need a wall socket to power up your gaming console though but the versatility is nice to have on this monitor. So the sound on the internal speakers is pretty decent, it isn't very loud, so I would recommend plugging in some speakers or a pair of headphones. So here's a quick audio sample. Welcome back to another video. 
Today we'll be talking about my experience with the Pixel 4 XL after 3 weeks. Comparing it to the Pixel 3 XL, the Pixel 4 XL design looks better from the front than the Pixel 3 XL, but I prefer the look of the back of the Pixel 3 XL. I like that the Pixel 4 XL kept a soft back, which is really nice, and it now has a matte border that provides a nicer grip. Now comparing it to other phones like the Samsung Galaxy S10, this is also great to use as a secondary monitor, you can plug it into your laptop or computer. And this is perfect if you have a laptop that outputs video through the USB-C port. So if you have a Thunderbolt USB-C port, you can simply plug in the monitor to your laptop with a single Thunderbolt USB-C cable and have a PowerD monitor at the same time. This was great to use with my Surface Pro 6 because it has a 12.3 inch display which doesn't give me a large area to put multiple windows next to each other. Since the Surface Pro 6 doesn't have a USB Type-C port, I had to buy an adapter to connect the mini display port to the HDMI to mini HDMI cable that then connected to the mini HDMI port on the monitor. With this setup I had to use a power bank to keep the monitor powered since the mini display port didn't provide power to the monitor. An HDMI cable to HDMI also won't provide power. So the best case scenario is if you have a laptop with a USB Type-C port with Thunderbolt support. This monitor has been perfect to use while I do my homework on OneNote. I just connected a wireless mouse to the monitor since I was using my pen to write on my tablet and took off my keyboard. So I had my digital textbook on the monitor with three tabs, one with the chapters, another one with the problems, and the third one with the solution to check if I got the correct answer. I could also put the problems and solution next to each other to make it easier. So this right here has been my best use of this monitor. I can quickly glance over to the monitor to check my answer or look at an example problem or simply watch a video explaining the chapter. I would highly recommend buying this USB Type-C external monitor if you have been in the market for a portable monitor since they will be having a 35% off from the $170 price tag. Alright guys, so that concludes today's review. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you found the video helpful. Subscribe for more tech related videos and I'll talk to you on the next one.